Well, first up, we start with a news alert. Witnesses say they were in shock this afternoon as they watched a van plunge into the water at the Venice Jetty. This is Sarasota County. And tonight, dive crews have recovered the van and the two people were inside. Fox 13's Crystal Clark joins us live now from North Jetty Park. Very latest tonight. Crystal, any idea how, why the vehicle went into the water? No, Kelly, and that's what police are trying to learn as well. Witnesses we spoke to say it really caught everyone off guard when they saw that van slowly submerging into the water you see behind me. They say it's unclear exactly what caused it to go over the rocks. However, police are trying to figure out as well if this was an accident or intentional. A beautiful day along the water in Venice turned terrifying for dozens of people who packed Jetty Park on Monday. Well, I was out on the tip of the jetty. I just turned around and looked at it. Lou Tyne says he couldn't believe his eyes. A white minivan was bobbing in the water, sinking in what felt like slow motion. I didn't hear it going or anything. And uh, there's people all standing around me. None, nobody saw it. And I go, you see that van over there? Yeah. Across the water at the South Jetty, Tony Mineo saw three people on a passing boat jump in the water in an attempt to save passengers. Somebody dove off a boat. Tried to open the doors and they couldn't get the doors open. They tried to smash the windows and by hand there was nothing to break the windows with. Within minutes, witnesses say the van drifted with the tide about a thousand yards out before disappearing beneath the waves. Exactly why the man and woman inside drove into the water isn't clear, even to people who were sitting in cars nearby. They're parked facing the, the water here, and I thought instead of putting the brake on, they probably put the gas. They pushed the gas and then it went in. There's no way of knowing that. That that's all going to be part of the investigation. Venice police say for now they are investigating this as a traffic homicide. They are not releasing the names of that man or woman as they try to identify and notify their family members tonight. For now, as that investigation continues, South Jetty Park will remain closed. Back over to you. All right, Crystal Clark reporting out there in Sarasota County. Thank you, Crystal.